Hi and welcome to my guide. Today we're going to do the quest Zulgar Flesh Eaters. The quest requirements are Jungle Potion and the Big Chumpy Bird Hunting. The skill requirements are 30 Range at, 30 Fletching, 4 Smithing and 8 Herbore. Also you'll need to be able to kill a command 111 which uses melee and range at attack methods but with available safe spots. The items needed are a vial of water, a hammer, a chisel, any axe that you can use, some wolf bones, a bowstring, some flighted ogre arrows, any kind of nails so you can make brutal arrows but be sure that you have the smithing level required to make these brutal arrows. Be sure to check your fetching guide before you buy any high kind of nails. But the better kind of nails, the more ranged strength your brutal arrows will have. Then also some flighted over arrows. You can get these by chopping some anti trees, then cut the logs into shafts and then add some feathers and you will get flighted over arrows. Here at the quest start south of Castle Wars, here are three anti trees. You can hop between two worlds until you have enough over arrows. You only need the brutal arrows to kill the boss of Comet 111, but you don't really have to kill it with Ranged. You can also use magic to kill it, but therefore I suggest you to bring Crumble Undead. Also, you'll need some food to pass monsters up until combat 53. Bring along a dual ring of at least two charges. You'll also need a teleportation method to Yanil. I will be using a minigame teleport to Nightmare Zone. But you can also use a Watchtower teleport or a House teleport. Or you can simply run from uh, Castle Wars. Also, you will need a teleportation method to Tybro One Eye Village. If you've completed the quest Tybro One Eye Trio, you can use this teleportation scroll. But if not, I suggest you to bring a uh, camera teleport and 480 GP so you can go to Catherby and take the boat to Brimhaven and then you can simply run south to reach Taibo One Eye Village. Now also you need some magic or ranged armor to kill the boss at the end of the quest. Because you only need the armor at the end of the quest, I suggest you to bring some weight reducing armor. The only thing we will need to do at the start of the quest is pass some level 40 monsters and kill a combat 40 skeleton. Besides from that, you should also bring along like 2 or 3 stamina potions and have 10 empty inventory slots at the start of the quest. Alright, where to start this quest is simply south of Castle Wars, west of the Jigig. You should find a couple of ogres, we should find uh, Grish, the one with a staff, talk to him. Select the third option, what are zogers? Select the fourth option, can I help in any way? Keep pressing the spacebar and then select the second option, ok, I will check it out. Yeah, sure, first option. And he will give you some chompies and super restores. Next, go a little bit east to the barricades and there you should find a ogre guard. Talk to him and after the conversation is over he will crush the barricade. Climb over the barricade and then go east. Keep going east until you see some stairs. We will need to climb those stairs down. We will see a little fade out, then just keep going west in this dungeon until you see a black circle on your minimap. On the western, from the western side of this uh, circle on your minimap, go northwest until you see a, a smaller path going straight north, northwest of that black circle. Go west of that room and you will find a uh, little cutscene. Zooming in into the coffin and a skeleton. Click to continue. Then run towards it. Alright, between the ogre coffin and the broken lectern. First search the broken lectern to find a torn page. 
read it, click to continue, and now it's time to kill the combat uh, 39 skeleton. So prepare to fight it, maybe heal up, and search a skeleton west of the uh, broken lectern. Kill the zombie. Use Crumble Undead or any other uh, attack method. Alright, when it's dead it will drop a ruined backpack. Take it, open it. Be sure to open it and you'll get a knife, a rotten fruit which you can drop and a dragon in tankard. Look at it. Next, go a little bit west and you'll find an ogre coffin. Click on it to search. Click to continue. Be sure not to get attacked. After you search it, use a knife on the coffin. Maybe stand on the western side of the coffin so you're not attacked. When you use your knife on it, and you then try to search the ogre coffin again, you should get a message in your chat box. Just click to continue and you should try to open the coffin. When you're too weak, you will lose some strength levels. Just try again by searching the coffin. And then just keep searching the coffin and trying to open it until you finally opened the coffin. Okay, maybe my strength level is way too... Alright! When the coffin is finally open, search in it, you will find a black prism. Next, teleport yourself to Yanil. I will be using the Nightmare Zone teleport. When you're diseased, just wait until a hit splat appears, then quickly click on the teleport if you're using the Nightmare Zone teleport as well. Then you should be able to teleport. Being diseased doesn't damage you at all, it just damages your stats. Alright, in Yanil, go south, enter Yanil, and then go to the southwestern part of Yanil to go to the uh, inn south of the house portal. Alright, west of the hunter shop you should find a beer sign on your minimap. Open the door, go a little bit southeast and right click on your tankard and use it on the bartender. Skip through the conversation. Next we will need to go to the uh, magic guild. So enter the pub or the inn, go east and go to the eastern side to, of the magic guild. And there we will find a bell. So south of the entrance you should find a bell, ring it, and an NPC will appear. Talk to him. And then just select the uh, last option, the fourth one, OK, thanks. For the next part we will need to have at least 5 inventory spaces. So maybe go to the uh, Yanil bank and drop some items. Maybe we don't really need 3 stamina potions. Also I don't need my uh, armor anymore. Since we have already fighted the skeleton. And we don't need to fight anything except for the boss at the end of the quest. Maybe the chompies and the super restores. Alright, when you've got some inventory spaces, go north of the magic guild and enter that house. There, climb up the ladder in the northeastern corner. Then go to the western room. Enter it and you should find Sithik Ints in his bed. Talk to him. 
Select the first option. Do you know anything about the undead ogres in Jigik? Skip through the conversation and then just select the fourth option. Okay, thanks. Next, let's search his wardrobe west of him. Then search his cupboard in the northeastern corner of his room. And then search the drawers. And you'll find a book of portraiture, necromancy book and a book of ham. Read all the three books. Next, use the book of ham on Citic. Skip through the conversation. Next, the Book of Necromancy, use it on the Wizard as well. And then lastly, the Book of Portraiture. Next, use Papyrus, which you got from searching his uh, drawers, on Sithic. And we'll start drawing him. and then your papyrus will be changed into a Sithic portrait. Right click on it and examine. Then click to continue and you will get a message in your chat box how the uh, portrait looks like. We will need to have it say that it is realistic. If it's not realistic, drop it, search the drawers once again. Try use it on Sithic again. Draw him. Click to continue, examine it, and do this until you have a realistic portrait of Sithic. Once you have this, go back northeast, go back downstairs, and return to the bartender in the uh, Dragon Inn of Yanil. So here back in the Dragon Inn, use the portraits on the bartender and you'll see that the picture has changed uh, rotation and its name will also be changed into a signed portrait. Once you have this, open the door, exit the inn and go back to the wizard by ringing the bell at the entrance of the magic guild. If the bartender does not want to sign your portrait, that means your uh, portrait is not realistic. Use Papyrus on uh, Sithic and keep drawing and examining your portraits until it is uh, realistic. Alright, back at the Magic Guild, ring the bell and then select the third option. I have some items I'd like you to look at. Then just keep pressing the spacebar. and he will trade all the items for a strange potion. Next, go north and go back to uh, the sick wizard. Go back upstairs, climb up the ladder, go to the western room. Alright, here in his room, use a strange potion on the cup of tea, which is lying on his uh, drawers in the southeastern corner. You will put a strange potion in it. Next, we will need to go back to Rave, um, so go back downstairs and ring the bell again at the uh, entrance of the Magic Guild. If he's still there, you don't need to ring it. Talk to the wizard, then just select OK thanks. And he will say that Sidic should be transformed into an ogre. Let's check that out. So go back to the wizard in bed, climb up the ladder, go west, talk to Sithic and he will be transformed into an ogre. Skip through the conversation a little bit and then just let's go through every option. The first one, the second one, how do I get rid? And then the third option to get rid of the disease and then the fourth option sorry got to go 
Alright, now we will need to make Requiem's Bomb. Since they are untradeable, we will need to make them ourselves. For this, we will need a vial of water, a rogue's purse, and snake weed. We can get these two herbs near Taibo One Eye Village. So teleport yourself to Taibo One Eye. Then go a bit uh, west to the western shore. If you're unable to use a teleport scroll to Taibo One Eye Village, just teleport to Camelot. Pay 480 GP to take the boat in Catherby to uh, Brimhaven and then simply run south. When you're on the western shore of Taibo One Eye Village, just go south. And just like in a jungle potion quest, we will need to find the first herb that Trifitus has asked us. So keep going south. Then just a little bit west of the red dot, which is seaweed, and also south of these two dead bushes, search the Marshley jungle vine. Now we just need to wait until you find snakeweed. Clean it and go north. Drink a stamina potion dose, and now we will need to go to the uh, dungeon filled with jokers west of the harpy buck swarms. So just keep simply running north, following the shore until you see the uh, general store. From here, go east, and then just go to the harpy buck swarms. Just keep going east until you see a dungeon sign on your minimap. Click on it on your minimap, and now you just need to wait for your character to be there or to arrive. Alright, when your character has arrived, climb down the rocks. Click to continue, yes, enter the cave, click to continue, go south, now just keep going south, then go to the western wall, and then search the uh, second green dotted wall, search the fungus covered cavern wall, the second one on the western wall, this ogre shouldn't be able to attack you, and now you just need to wait until you find this last herb. Once you've found it, clean it, use both herbs on the vial of water, and you'll get a Requiem's Balm. Next, go to your dual ring and teleport to Castle Wars. Next, we will need to bank and prepare for the boss fight. The boss will use range jet and melee, but you're able to use a safe spot. You can bank or drop your sample bottle. You also need to have like one stamina potion dose. Besides from that, you still need every single item that you have brought at the start of the quest. Except for the charcoal, you don't need that. You can also just simply drop your book of portraiture. You still need your knife. You don't need to have your black prism anymore. Besides from that, I'm going to bring some magic armor. maybe some food. For the boss fight, be sure that you have some uh, super resource with you, because the disease will drain all your stats dramatically, so if you're low level, be sure that you have some uh, super restores, so that you're able to kill the combat 111 uh, quickly. Alright, when you think you're prepared for the boss battle of a combat 111, but he doesn't really hit that high, uh, you should also have at least two empty inventory slots, and then simply go to Grish. So cross the two bridges, go south. Go back to Grish. And near Grish we should find an ogre called Uglognar. 
an ogre which you can trade, right click on your balm and use it on Uglognar. Keep pressing the spacebar and he will give you 650 GP. Next, talk to Grish. Select the first option, I found who is responsible for those ogres. Skip through the conversation and he will give you a ogre gate key. Next, talk to him again. Then select the second option, there must be an easier way to kill these ogres. Keep pressing the spacebar and he will uh, say, and now he will say how to make uh, ogre comp bows. Sorry, I have to go. Next, go a little bit north of Grish and you should find an Angie tree. Chop it down. If you don't have enough woodcutting level to use your axe, take those super restores that you've gotten at the start of the quest. Drink a dose and your woodcutting level should be back to normal. Then you can simply go back to the anti tree and chop it down with your axe. Alrighty, let's chop it down and then use a knife on the anti tree locks and then select the second one, composite over bow. Then use a string on it and we'll get a ogre comp bow. Next, use some steel nails on the flighted over arrows. Make some sets. And you're now able to make an ogre comp bow and steel arrows. This will be your weapon to kill the combat 111 if you're going to kill it with range at if you're going to kill it with mage, you just need some mage armor and crumble undead. Now it's time to actually kill the boss, so go back to the broken barricade. Next to the ogre guard, climb it. Next, go east. Just keep going east. Climb down the stairs. Next, we will need to go all the way west. Just keep going west until you see a door on your minimap. Go towards that red line and open the stone door. Go a little bit south, open the second over stone door. And you should find a dungeon sign and a black hole on your minimap. Climb down that stairs as well. And now just simply run northeast until you can go east in this big area. Just go east, all the way east to the end, and there you should find a stand. When you're going to search a stand, the Comet 111 will appear. You just need to run a little bit southeast of this uh, skull pile to be able to safe spot the boss. So search the stand and then just go a little bit southeast and he should be stuck. Attack it whoops, with crumble on that or with your composite bow. He uses ranged and magic so protect from ranged can be helpful.
are right when the boss monster is dead, it will drop two Zogar Bones, three Orc Bones and the Ogre Artifact. We will need to give this artifact to Grish to be able to uh, complete his quest, so be sure to take that. So once you have the Ogre Artifact, teleport with your Ring of Dueling to Castle Wars, cross to Bridges and go to Grish to complete your quest. Talk to Grish, select the first option, yeah I have it here. And congratulations, you've completed Zogar Flesh Eaters. You're awarded with one quest point, ability to make brutal arrows, cure disease potions, 2000 range at fletching and herb lore experience. Alright, now lastly there is a black prism which you've gotten during the quest. What you can do with this is either drop it or you could sell it for a couple of GPs to an NPC. You can ring the bell again at the Magic Guild and trade that wizard, the Black Prism, for 2000 GP. But what you also can do is simply go to Shiloh Village and trade it for 5000 GP at the uh, Antique Shop. Also to get rid of this disease just go through the Free For All Clan Wars portal. All your stats should be restored. I'm going to sell it at Yeni, so I will be right back. Alright, here at the antique shop of Shiloh Village, just use the Black Prism on Yeni. And he will want to pay 5000 GP for it. Yes, alright, and this was my guide how to complete Zogar Flesh Eaters. Hopefully it helped, subscribe, rate and comment. Okay, thanks, bye.